What's up? Good evening, good day. Uh, I don't know when you're tuning in, but Happy New Year. This is Conrad at GOG Boxing. Good to see you again. I can't see you, but I guess you can see me. Uh, and this year is the first day of the year. Oh, and by the way, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holiday Season, whatever you celebrate. I hope you had a great end of the year, and it's so good to say goodbye to 2021. Let me tell you, that's a heartfelt goodbye from me. But today, to start off the new year, we're going to compare the Adidas Boss Hogs. These are the Boss Hogs 2 to Nikes. These are actually my old Nikes, uh, the Macho Mize or the Macho Mize. It depends, kind of depends on where you're from, how you pronounce that, I guess. I've heard people say it both ways. I should probably call up Nike and find out. But we're going to do a comparison between the two. And uh, this is important to me because you know that I love footwork and I think boxing comes from the feet. So your feet actually matter. So uh, let's jump right into it. Now, first what we're going to do, let's talk about these boss hogs. I'm really psyched about these boss hogs uh, and I'll tell you why. They feel to me like the boxing shoes I had back in the 80s. Yes, in the 80s. You guys know I love 80s boxing. I really do. Oh, by the way, I've got a live studio audience today. My family and my dogs. You've seen my dogs before, so if you hear some barking and sneezing or whatever, my family's waving. Hey there. Uh, but these shoes, I, I, I decided to buy them, or actually I asked for them and I got them, you know, for Christmas. Uh, because I kind of, you know, I wasn't dissatisfied with the Nikes, but they just didn't feel like they had the zoom factor. So actually, maybe before I talk about the Boss Hogs, let's talk about the Nikes. These are the Nikes, right? The Macho Mice, you know, the, or the Macho Mice, uh, Macho Mice maybe. I don't know how you want to call them. Um, a lot of people started getting into these uh, thanks to Manny Pacquiao. Uh, and why wouldn't you? Manny Pacquiao is great, really quick getting in and out. So, you know, these became instantly popular. Um, I like them. I like the look. But to tell you the truth, when I decided these, these are a few years old, that's why they look so dirty. So I hope Nike didn't want to kill me. They look a little dirty and worn out because they've had a lot of wear and tear. I've probably used these for three or four years now. Um, and I, I went Nike when I decided I wanted some new boxing shoes that were a little bit better brand anyway. Uh, because I grew up, you know, playing basketball too. And uh, Nikes were the only basketball shoes I wanted to wear. They lasted. They stuck to the floor when they had grip when I wanted them. So, and, you know, and also Manny Pacquiao, right? Manny Pacquiao, Doug. He, you know, he was wearing Nikes. So I wore Nikes for the last basically three years. Now here are the positives, and there are a lot of positives with these. One is they're tough. I've seen reviews where people talk about them coming apart. Man, I don't know where, what, I mean, maybe you guys just are heavy or you have like more, you're more dynamic than me. These, I've got like a little bit of stitching coming loose, but these are, this is after three, maybe almost four years of really a lot of wear and tear. You guys know I do a lot of step drills when I work out. It's true this last year when I was sick, I didn't put as much time in to boxing, uh, but a lot of sparring. Um, everything held up. The stitching held up. I'm just put one of these down. Everything held up. The stitching held up. The laces held up. Most important for me, the soles held up. Nothing started coming, you know, unglued or unattached on the bottom. Really, there's not even, I know you can't really see this, but there's hardly even any wear on these. Now, if you're on a boxing mat, it's not going to kind of wear and tear like if you're wearing Nike basketball shoes and playing outside on asphalt, right? But nobody's going to tell me that these things aren't tough and they don't hold up. The other, things I, the other thing I really liked about the Nikes um, is that, well, I mean, I'm not young, right? I'm actually 55. I've been on my feet a lot in my life. I train a lot. My feet are kind of flat. And so as soon as I put them on, I feel that arch support. So if you have flat feet or your feet get tired just from working out and running, this is a big plus. I mean, I love putting these on. Tell you the truth, I'd probably just wear these around the house as house shoes if, if uh, I didn't want to save them for boxing. Now, what didn't I like? Which is going to bring me to the Adidas in a minute. Well, the shape, as you can tell, I kind of have wide feet, probably because they're a little bit flat. But you see this curve. For me, this always kind of scrunched up on my toes on that side. It wasn't bad enough to say, hey, I'm sending these back or I'm taking them back, but I did kind of feel it. 
It didn't really, I just ignored it, to tell you the truth, for a, for a long time. But one thing you gotta remember when it comes to your toes, right? Your toes are where your balance comes from. If your toes can't, don't have a little bit of room, they can't be crushed. If they're crushed, you're gonna lose balance. If they're a little bit, if they can be a little bit more normal, you're gonna have better balance. You just are. I can tell you this because when I was growing up, I knew a guy who got all of his toes cut off. <laughs> Believe it or not, he didn't have any toes on his both feet. He got him cut off in some crazy accident at a factory. I don't even remember how he did it. But when he stood next to you, he had to hold on to you. Because if, if he wasn't walking, he couldn't keep his balance. So he would grab hold of everybody who was standing next to him and kind of drive people crazy, right? Going backwards and forwards. But that's a little bit of an exaggeration when it comes to, bat, to, to boxing boots. But this did, if you have wide feet, you might not dig. You might not dig this. And it kind of started bugging me. Okay, which is one reason why I thought, you know, for Christmas, my birthday, whatever, uh, maybe I want to try something else. And I did know some guys and actually a, a couple of female boxers who were wearing the Boss Hogs and they liked them. So, hey, let's talk about the Boss Hogs. Here's the Boss Hog 2. It's brand, pretty much brand new. I haven't been able to do a lot of work out in it. Uh, but there's a few things I instantly notice. Now, the first thing when it comes to durability, obviously I can't comment on that because I haven't worn these for two or three years like I have the Nikes. The Nikes were super durable. Uh, they weren't bad. Like I said, the only thing that bugged me over time was my toes. I, I think they're great. They're great shoes. I'm not going to rag on them. Now, these, when it comes to durability, since I haven't worn them a couple of years, I can't comment. I don't know. I don't think they will be as durable as the Nikes just because of the way they're made. The, the, the Nikes, you know, it's all leather. The way it, this is not leather. This is like a more, a more, you know, more breathable material, but it's not all leather, right? And it's, I just think it's probably not going to be as durable, but okay. What the first thing I noticed though, is that it's lighter. It does feel lighter. The second thing I noticed, and you maybe you can't tell because it's black and black things make things look narrow but it's a little bit wider in my toes so immediately it felt better on my toes the third thing though which is something i really like which is like what i felt back you know, like in the 80s and I, and to be completely transparent i actually borrowed boxing boots back then so they weren't ever absolutely comfortable because you know if you wear somebody else's shoes it feels a little bit like you're standing on kind of rocks because your feet don't fit that well but i did remember the ankle support and feeling that you have this kind of zoom factor, right? And I'll talk about that in a second. But you've got the higher ankles. And when you lace this up and you put these on, you immediately feel what I call the zoom factor. And it's a combination of two things. Ankle support, I think, and also that it doesn't weigh very much, okay? Now, I remember like three years ago when I got these Nikes, and I told a friend of mine, oh man, I'm getting some uh, boxing boots. I'm getting some Nikes. And I just, you know, I put them on. I feel like I can just zoom around and I can do footwork and pivot and all that stuff. And I put them on. And I remember thinking, well, maybe I'm just kind of, I just remembered them differently than I used to because I didn't really feel that much of a difference. You know what happened when I put these boss hogs on? I immediately felt the zoom. And I mean, it, it is a real thing. And I really think that if your feet feel good in boxing, you're gonna box a lot better. And I'll tell you what the zoom factor feels like. First, you feel light. I even noticed it jumping rope. I feel like I can jump rope easier. I can do footwork easier. Um, when I was doing drills, I immediately felt the drills. But because of the ankle support, when you're, when you're throwing combos, and let's say you get over to throw a body hook or something, you do feel like you've got the balance, but at the same time, you can pivot and move out. I've got to say that I love the way these feel, and that zoom factor is just an immediate, an immediate difference. Now, the only other thing, the only thing I would kind of, I would wonder I will say these also had great, they have great grip to the floor. They even feel like they have better grip than the Nikes, which for me is really weird because especially when I think back like with say basketball, if you had Adidas and we did have Adidas like for the 5A basketball team I played for or the Nikes, the Nikes stuck to the floor even if it was a little dusty and the Adidas didn't. didn't. But these Adidas, you feel like you got great grip and you feel like you can pivot. It feels better than it feels with the with the Nikes. Now the other thing, the only thing I kind of wonder is I remember on the old boxing boots you had kind of like a, a round 
rubber pivot and you don't have that on either of these shoes and it felt i remember feeling that like my the ball of my foot i would just pivot off it i kind of wish some guys would do that again but maybe they know shoes better than i do maybe it uh actually is different now that's my quick review on both of them the only thing i would add in is because of this material is definitely more breathable your foot's not going to get as hot okay but the positive on the nike and the Nike has breathable material too, right? It's just the Nike's got more like leather. You just feel it's got more leather to it and it seems like it's a, a more solid. So if you need that foot support, you need the art support, uh, and I'm talking about in the foot, not the ankle. The ankle's pretty good too, because see, it's got that good leather. You may want the Nikes. Just be careful you got narrow feet. But when it comes to the ankle support, the zoom factor, the breathability, the foot feeling cool, uh man i gotta say in these higher ankles i gotta say i think i think it's the adidas that you're going to be happier with especially you have a little bit wider feet now some people say oh but the adidas they're not wide shoes i'm not saying they're wide shoes if you have big wide feet ooh, i'm not sure which one you should buy but i'm just talking about if you have kind of feet like mine in, in those those toes and the nike's got a little crush now the size what size should you buy with the adidas what i did is i ordered one size larger after reading a bunch of reviews and so if you're in europe which i am uh, instead of getting say a 42 you should order a 43 fits perfect i think that's actually kind of true with the nikes too but i'm not i kind of don't remember uh, I just I could probably check but I'm not gonna right now because we're almost done but uh, if you if you want these then yeah I'd order a size larger and I think you'll be happy um, the other last plus with the Adidas and I'm not saying they're better I'm just saying that they're these are some good pluses is that they're cheaper they're a little bit cheaper I'm not gonna get into prices uh, so much because now exchange rates logistics change chain issues all who knows what you're gonna pay but in general they're a little bit cheaper than the Nikes um, they probably, I don't think they'll be as durable as last, and last as long, but hey, you know, I'm, we get in the ring, you start sparring, you know, let's worry about the now and not two or three years from now. That's what I would say. But anyway, hope you like that. We'll be back soon. This is Conrad, GOG Boxing, signing out.